So I've just launched MPC 3.5 here on my computer. I'm using a MacBook Pro and I've got the M1 Pro chip inside of here. And I'm gonna press new project here and it opens right up kinda cool. The one thing you also notice here in the upper right hand corner, there's this little red dot here. I can click here, I can log out of it because that means I'm logged into the side of the uh, Akai MPC platform. And so you're gonna to realize too that there's no more use of the, um, what's this thing called, iLock. And so iLock is not being used, this is a direct access to the company. This is different than everything else had been. You had to have an iLock. Uh, where's my iLock right here? And I had this little iLock device here. Uh, there it is right there. Now another new feature that happens here also is the ability to use VST. And you'll see here I did a full rescan. And you'll see here I've got my VST, Library Audio Plugins VST. Here's Library Audio Plugins VST3. These are the Instruments VST3, so everything is here. If you don't have that, you should come here and rescan all or scan new. Now, when I start scanning, I want to make sure I get everything. So I make sure I select VST folders and VST folders, and I also select audio units as well. Then it starts to scan everything that we have there in the uh, MPC software that's on the computer as well. So we're looking for everything. And once it gets to the end, it's always good to look over what happened. So uh, it took a long time for this to happen. It must have been at least three minutes. And so we get to here and it's gonna say done. Okay, that's good. Then I want you to scroll over, see what it says fail. So it says, for example, uh, what's that leveling tool fail? Okay, got that. And we see some other things going on here. We're gonna scroll back up and get to see some more things that failed. The UAD didn't fail. And you'll notice some things here, some things that are consistent. You'll see here that all the machine and native instrument plugins have all failed. Now, they didn't fail, they just stopped them from logging into your system. So uh, there's a concerted effort by a kind NPC, I guess, also to keep them off of their system because it's, you know, it's a battle to be the best or a battle to get your position not taken out by somebody else. And so if I want to look at this track here, let's say, and I want to like hear it back, I'll go here. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to select my mixer right here. And I'm going to press this right here, this green button to expand out on it. There we go. We got the mixer here. So having the mix is pretty cool when you have a track. I can look at this and it looks confusing. Like what is going on here? I'm trying, well, you know, this is the whole idea of having that mixer. So let's look at this mixer here. And if I look at it here, I'm noticing too that we have these three things up here, of course. You know, you come to here, it's gonna be a pad mixer. You come to here, it's gonna be your uh, channel mixer. And here are both your pad and channel mixers. So if you get to here, don't get too confused. Watch this. I get to here. Oh, that's C now, right? So I gotta go back here and go to A. So this is B. Then it's become C. And you'll see that's D right there. This D. So you see what's happening here? You can have unlimited tracks. This is crazy. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna drag down, watch this. I can drag down here and hide my channel mixer. I just want to see the mixer for the pads. So let's drag back up a little bit here. And that's kind of cool. But I see no pads, I have no idea what I got here. So if you come right here over to the edge, right here where it says A, and I get to here, boom, I can see my pads now. I can see all these pads, which is kind of cool. Now, if I want to pull in a VST, this is how I always want to do this. Let's come back to here. That's it right there. I'm gonna drag down now. I can see my pads. I get to here, that's cool. I get a really cool view. Now, if I go to here, my pad mixer, I see the same thing. But if I'm here in this one, I can always go back up to here. Well, I'll go to here and see this, what's in my subgroups, what's in my returns. Okay, cool. And I come back down here like this, you know? So it's always cool to be able to do that inside the software. I got a drum track here, this is bass drum and I want to put something on here, so I got a VST here. I want to come down to here, use VST3, 
But I'm going to go to, I got Universal Audio UADX. This is great. I'll get to here. And as you can see, I do have uh, some plugins. Maybe too many. I'm going to look for a plugin I want to use here. And we're going to pull it down. I'm going to look for, there it is, SSL Channel Strip. And I'll pull this up. Click here. And we got that here. This is a big VST I like to use a lot. So this is great. It's a channel strip from an SSL mixing board, which is kind of cool to have, you know. And I want to make sure I can actually use this thing. Great. Love to use this on a bass drum. Love it on a bass drum. I can come to here. I have my defaults. And I have some presets set up in here, too, as well. So I got drums here. I come with drums. I got mine already checked out. There's little stars here for it. And I can come in and pick which one I want to use. Let's see. Oh, yeah. How about... Um, yeah, I like this one better. Tighter, simpler kick. That's pretty cool. I can increase my output from here. See that right there? I don't want to go too much in the red. That's pretty good. I love that because if I turn this off, that's how it sounds. Now, I like MPC. I like the AirPods. They're really good when you have your standalone. You know, you get your basic setup. There isn't much power in there, of course, but having a computer system, to, once I do it and come back in here and mix it, and you get a really good idea what I got. I pull some really heavy, dope plugins in. Man, you're killing it. The difference is like amazing. And this is why the VST world opening up inside of MPC is awesome. I love it. Now this thing actually has a compressor built into it. As you can see our compressor's right here for dynamics. We got an EQ set up here. I can do side chain. Everything's right here in this one app. And of course, I've got some great default plugins that have presets that are killer. And only cook to use. That's just one example, but you can use a lot of different plugins that you might want to use in your tracks, which help you out a whole lot. You can't go wrong. And I love that I'm having this idea of using it, so I'm having a problem. I got no problems with it whatsoever. I'm going to go to here, drag up again right here. Cool. This is very cool. I go back into here. I can see my channel mixer right here, too, as well, right? And I can come back. You can see this all laid out here in the bottom. And I also see the combination here in the pad. Can't go wrong. Now I'm going to go back here to my main window here. And here are my tracks. So it's kind of cool. The new software is pretty cool. I like it a lot, actually. I wouldn't mind having a different color than having black. I have so many different apps that have black in the background. But I'm not really complaining. Uh, this is cool. Plus, it gives me something to do and learn some stuff. What's going on with this? You know, we got a full level here, of course. You know, you got your 16 levels right there. Close this out. Close it up. So that's how it works when you get your VSTs locked in and you're ready to go. You can use them anywhere within the system. You go to your mixer, get your VSTs, put them in there, get your tracks lined up. Can't go wrong. This is the MPC 3.5. Of course, we are here in YouTube, and we want you to subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. And also, as you probably know by now, I do lessons. And I'm not hiding. You go to samplekings.com, and you will see the lessons. You will see what we're doing over there, and it's pretty simple to do. There'll be a link down there for samplekings.com, and that's only $20 an hour. And if you become a member, they're just 15 Membership is just $25. Bucks. Well, you get tons of samples, all kinds of stuff too as well. But I'll see you in the next video. I got more to show you for the MPC 3.5.